Actually, we kept our guidance unchanged. Um, we're looking into one of the strongest periods we've ever had. Frankly, this is a good time to be in the cruise business, and especially it's a good time to be at Royal Caribbean. Um, we narrowed our guidance, so we kept the midpoint the same and said we will still make it uh, with all the things that are going on. Uh, notwithstanding having some headwinds from foreign exchange and fuel. So the business is very powerful. Frankly, to me, overcoming fuel and foreign exchange shows how strong we're doing. I understand that you're, you're saying that you've narrowed the guidance. I mean, the take on Wall Street, that it was a lower fourth quarter guide than what they had expected. And as you know, Richard, it's all about expectations on the street. So can you give us the color behind what the difference is between what you're guiding to and what Wall Street had been expecting? Well, I think there, was a, there were timing differences. So we did better in the third quarter, slightly less than they were expecting in the fourth quarter. But our forward outlook hasn't changed at all. And in fact, since the beginning of the year, we've overcome $115 million worth of headwinds from foreign exchange and fuel and still raised our guidance overall. So there may be a timing difference, but our business remains absolutely on track. And I think there was a lot of focus on 2019. We're not ready to give numbers for 2019, but we were very positive about the outlook. And we feel very positive about the outlook. Richard, one reoccurring theme over the past couple of quarters has been higher costs, especially related to fuel prices. Uh, what are you planning to do with higher costs going forward? Can you absorb it or will you end of the day have to pass it on to the consumer by raising uh, the price to, to book a cruise? Well, we have been overcoming it and um, I expect that we will continue to do so. We, um, we have, first of all, the best way to control our costs on fuel is to use less energy. And that's good for the environment and it's good for our bottom line and we've been very successful at it. Our energy consumption is better than our competitors, and we keep improving it. And for me, that's actually quite good. But um, the other thing we have to do is continue to outperform in terms of satisfying our customers and generating a higher revenue to deal with higher fuel costs and higher foreign exchange. And so far, that formula is working very well for us. As you look into 2019, Richard, what, where do bookings stand? How do they compare? Um, thank you for that question because bookings compare very nicely. In every quarter of next year, we are ahead on volume and we are ahead on rate. Um, we are booked further out than we normally are. And so the combination of that means we have more assurance about what's going to happen. And we have less than we otherwise would have had to sell. So having less inventory that we have to be able to sell and having higher prices on what we have sold augurs well for 2019.